Your 5800X goes to 86 degrees on startup. Jesus Christ. Mine hits 60, but I have like a manual overclock that's not actually an overclock. It's just specifically a way to stop the freaking way that Ryzen works from going to ridiculous temperatures because I hate it. <laughs> it actually looks nice. What the fuck? Excuse me? Are you saying you didn't expect my shit to look nice? What the hell? So I'm thinking maybe to get these to actually grow and light up. I need moss, maybe? Like moss bricks up here? The problem is if I replace the bricks now, I think it might break them. This is the repurposed temple, yes. And I still have that debuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume that I genuinely do need to go to war with the entire thing in order to get rid of it. Oh, it's neat. Oh, look at that glow. Wait, why is it on fire over there? Huh. Uh, I have two axolotls at my other place. Doesn't look like enough for a town. Might be lava. Oh, it's lava. Look, you can see it. And Bunny? Uh, Bunny kinda... ...jumped into the lava. <laughs> Hold on a second. I need to see if my ice cream is defrosted enough to consume. What's that noise? Hello? Hello? Olenka died. Okay. <laughs> it's just a skeleton dying, honey. Go back to bed. <laughs> Alright. Um... <laughs> There's a trap hallway underneath here, or a trap, like, de uh, full to your death. There was, like, TNT and stuff. It was good times. Oh, another lily pad. I will put that in my pond. Ow. Yeah, I figured, you know, this would be a nice house, right? I need to make like a ladder or something. Actually, I think I can craft a ladder. Uh, yeah, it's, it's lit. Bam. Wait, how do I then build it up? Oh, uh, does it have to be on blocks? <laughs> That's such <a> irritating. <laughs> Boo! Okay, well, we'll reconsider that. Lorethal, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. And Stirk, thank you for the 52 months. Welcome back. Okay, I need to replenish my fish supply. Chunk of sugar cane here the entire time. <laughs> this has been growing on the sand. <laughs> okay, this is Minecraft music, yeah. I don't really need to fish in my shame cube anymore, so 
We have we have grown past needing to fish in the shame cube. The lighting is modded. Um, there's actually like a lot of different versions of this lighting. Some of which were designed to run on, like, laptops. So maybe you could potentially try it. Uh, there's no texture pack. It's purely lighting and shaders. My shame cube is a ruin now. I have grown stronger. This is solar shaders? Yeah. Yeah, like the light version of this is supposed to run on fairly uh, old equipment. So I'm eating my ice cream. It is an Oreo McFlurry. Ice cream for dinner? Hey, I had a piece of toast too. Are my actual assholes at home getting lonely? Probably. Hmm. I seem in order to catch a fish alive, I have to use a bucket. <laughs> Nailed it. What am I putting my body through? I mean, it's more like we're at some- we're in some kind of like war, really. Like, body refuses to process B12, I sleep for six hours and then eat ice cream. It's- it's- it's kind of like a back and forth. <laughs> the pen! Thank you for the nine months, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Art Love Yes. Oh, wow. You got fucked. <laughs> Welcome to your new home free- Oh, never mind. What happened? He got absolutely bodied by that axolotl. <laughs> Sweet terrarium, bruv. Thanks, bruh. Actually, that reminds me. I haven't checked on my results since I woke up. Apparently, the results are with the surgery, but the doctor that is supposed to, like, approve a process and, and key them in has not done so for, like, a week. I'm just like, okay, thanks. Nope, still not done it. Good. Uh, yeah, this is my first time playing. Don't worry, I didn't make any of this. This is the auto-generated temple. And then I just shoved, an, uh, like, an aquarium in the middle of it. <laughs> mm. I'm really depressed about the, uh, the dead coral reef, uh, block. Makes me feel really guilty. <laughs> I 
I guess I should make a, uh... Yeah, I'll make another sword. Hey, when life gives you a temple. Oh, I need an iron pickaxe now. Your body is a temple? <laughs> So, I'm gonna keep that iron pickaxe for other stuff. And then... So, I have iron now, but I kind of want to... This should last another trip, right? Yeah, it'll last another trip. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, hi, Satan! Da 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 Did I put the Satanism tag on? I don't think I did, no. I need to figure out what to do with these books, because they sound like they have useful effects. Gridline, thank you for giving the gift to us up to Satan. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Where did I get the ice cream? Um, from the ice cream place? Um, yeah, I guess we'll go to that mine that we saw. You finished reading Sweet Home? Holy shit, did you did you did you take a break from from when I talked about it till now? Cause that that was that was quick. I'm glad you enjoyed it though. Did you uh did you read the webtoon version with the music at the end? Or do I need to link you to the YouTube video? You binged everything in one day? Nice, nice. No need to apologize for being late. Wow, those tropical fish are not filling in the slightest. Uh, Sweet Home is, uh, that thing that had a Netflix show that was, like, filled with Imagine Dragons for some reason. I mean, come on. Ferrets are not known for their punctuality. I am entirely in character here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I do need a stone shovel. Birds understand the concept of time only as much as they understand the concept of hungry. Want food. Feed, feed. When they're hungry, they just like follow you around, constantly jumping up and putting their feet on your leg. Like, hey, still hungry. Still hungry. Hungry. <laughs> it's like, I know. God. I should... Oh, God. Why isn't this a mini McFlurry? This is huge. I'm never going to finish all this ice cream. Chat, would you like some? Insert ice cream into DVD drive.
No, it's a mine that spawned in. Like, it's, it's a generated mine. It's an Oreo McFlurry. Wily Willy, thank you for the 26 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I remember how we got in here last time. Slowly and carefully with no uh, issues whatsoever. Do you think I can jump into that water? Haha. -ha. It scares me. I don't see the axolotl that lived here. Oh, I knew I forgot to make something. I didn't make any torches. Crap. Well, if I can mine some coal, I can get torches. Yeah, the axolotl that lived here. Oh, wait, no. no oh, that's fish. Yeah, axo seems to be uh, AFK. Logged on, got stuck in the queue. Haha, <laughs> I understood that reference. I mean, he could have swum out and gone up the waterfall. Like the rest of the fish, they all seem to just be migrating up the waterfall constantly. There we go. Oh good. Look at that light coming through. Isn't that cool? Okay, so these aren't all growing from the, uh... Yeah, those aren't all growing from, from moss or anything. So how do I... how do I make you glow? a big glob of ice cream in my mouth and it made my teeth hurt. Ow. <laughs> Why are there so many fish in this waterfall? Is it because it's the only real bit of a... Uh... Water? Like, there's no actual proper pools, so I think they're all just gathering in this waterfall. <laughs> Welcome aboard! Redline! Thank you for giving the ghetto up to the Easy Squeezy! Thank you very, very much. Ow! That's kind. Thank you. Also... Oh no!
Live, my friends, live! I don't think I can save the ones that have already fallen, but this this could help. Your sub hadn't expired? I think it did on like my side. I remember seeing it. Or like seeing a lack of thing. You can't see anything on mobile? Terrible things occurred. Oh, they just died. God, this place sucks. This is the most lethal waterfall I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm getting so many fish. I got 13 tropical fish! Can I not get these vines? How do I, how do I retrieve vines? <gasps> Axel! <gasps> you survived! I save you. You managed to get all the way here. The sheer work? It didn't. But yeah, how do how do I how do I receive how do I receive vines? They are here, and I want them. Oh, never mind. I got them. Oh, there goes another fish. Dude, that, that waterfall is basically just like... <laughs> Either they have to keep swimming constantly to, re to maintain upward motion or they just die. <laughs> this waterfall is terrifying. Hmm. Something something super deep metaphor for life. Keep swimming. Against the currents. Otherwise, you will be swept away and dead. I hate the way water works in this game. <laughs> That's a cool plant. I need this. Ow! Hmm. Not a whole lot in here. Oh, it's this way. I remember now. Oh, and I need this one. Yeah, I told you I found a natural mine shaft. You thought I was lying? Ooh, a debt. Hold on. Let me get... Is that more gems? Ooh, I got a thing. Alright. 
truly outrageous. <gasps> Diamonds! Oh, shit. Oh, thank you for appreciating the majesty of my shop, Don. I appreciate that. Okay, so can I also just get this? How can I be full? <laughs> oh god, um... Hmm. Okay, I don't need that many clay bowls, because I remember last time I was stupid. So it looks like I can have cobweb or string. Oh, maybe it's like depending on whether I hit it with my sword or hit it with the, the shears? Yeah. That's true, I do have an almost dead fishing rod. I wonder if I have more of a chance of encountering pillagers the more stuff I find. Uh oh. Was that all the diamonds? I think so. Half <laughs> Frizzle, thank you for the 55 months. Welcome back. Yup. Thank you, thank you. Crap. Uh, what mods are being used now? Uh, Optifine. And... Silders. How deep are we? Minus 42. Mm. I have like a million bones, so that's fine. Oh! Oh no, I can hear more tropical fish burning to death! Oh! I have a feeling in this game gold is going to obey the rules of super freaking squishy as opposed to super durable. Oh, a second, more ice cream is required. Hi, hi, Ian Man. Or potentially Land Man. I actually have a golden shovel back at my base, but I haven't used it because I'm worried about breaking it. <laughs> Hmm. Ooh. Wait, am I ever going to find my way home? I have nothing else, I guess I could dig straight up, right? Oh, it's the fish death fountain! 
We made it back. Look how many tropical fish there are here. They're all oh, look. They're all taking shelter in the little hole that I made. Question: Are they all slowly cooking? I feel like they're all slowly cooking. I'm just gonna go the other way. This is very upsetting. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to cook tropical fish. I tried and it didn't work. Not sure why. Don't be that way. Ow. Heck. Sidewinder, thank you for the 18 months. Welcome back. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Got the thing. Got the thing. Got the thing. That's probably fine. Minus 42 underground, apparently. Oh no, the bat went into the lava. Oh, what a world. Maybe we should... <gasps> I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <sighs> not dead. Not dead. Help. 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 Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. No panic. See? Everything is fine. I don't know where I am anymore. I collapsed the tunnel. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just dig my way out, slowly but surely.
<gasps> Where it is? Oh look, more gold. I am a little bit lost. I have not actually made any progress in terms of going up. <laughs> um, I could try and like wander around and get back to my... the actual planned way up, but that might take a while. So I think I'll just do this. I did learn. I didn't get crushed. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry. I got this. It's gonna take a while to get back up like this, huh? Oh no, I've gone up ten. We're basically there. Can you imagine if I'm accidentally digging up into a mountain? Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> oh crap. I submit that that's some bullshit and it's just a noise. 
Because it happens so infrequently that how could it be attached to a mob that's coming to murder me? I think you're full of shit, game. Almost there. Almost there. People gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't care. What if I'm under the water? I mean, the ocean can't be that deep, right? <laughs> I'll just if I if I breach into water, I swim up. No problem. It's deep and dark and dangerous. It's scary and it's dangerous, and things can rearrange us. In that big water Wait. Uh, I have another pick, in fairness okay. I might try and make a... Actually, no, I can't really. Don't want to use this pick because it's iron, but whatever. Thanks for making you real it. You're welcome. I could make a stone pick. I need to make a crafting table though, which I guess I can do. Hold on. <laughs> Da, da, da. I think one of the most frustrating things... Ooh, diamond. One of the most frustrating things in building games like this is where you toss something out to make room for something and then as you're rearranging your bags, the thing that you tossed out goes whooshing back into your inventory before you can put down the thing that you are rearranging. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, back we go. Nope. No! Thank you. All right. Here we go again. Apparently I don't have enough or whatever that is. Like, enough room, I mean. It's weird. It's cobbled deep slate, that's why. You can't fool me with your nonsense game. It's not real! Ah! 
Oh, well, that's lucky. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. We are minus seven. Is ground level actually at zero in this game? It's at like 60? Oh god, we're gonna be here forever. And the funny thing is, I can't even reuse this tunnel because I sealed it all in below me. Want me going back up the hard way? Because I got lost and I didn't trust my sense of direction to guide me back. Getting lost is fun, though. Not when I have, like, a million diamonds. And by a million, I mean eight. I dug straight up. <sighs> Are we there yet? Oh yeah, there's no way I'll starve. Yeah, what's the chance of there being a gigantic mountain above me in the desert? Not high, right? <laughs> That's sand. I don't think it's sand. Welcome aboard. Holy heck, Gridline! Thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community! Welcome aboard, everyone! Is that 10 subs for the exactly 10 meters I'm going to have to travel from now? <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. The ground type changed. Oops. Dude, I am drowning in clay bowls. I have like a hundred and something back home. Oh, what? Oh god, where have I- where have- You can't scare me, Minecraft. Oh, that can though. Where the heck did I just end up? Oh lordy.
Hmm. Ice cream time. It is mostly liquid now. Probably don't want to go down there. How does it manage to be darker in here? Than when I was in that entirely enclosed shaft. I have no idea where I am right now. Everywhere I can go seems to lead me back down. But I do see some iron, so I'm just going to take a quick detour. Was I holding the torch the entire time I was in the shaft? What? That sounds almost like a good idea. Did I do that? Nice. I wonder if Axolotl misses me. I want a blue Axolotl. I've been told about its existence, now I want it. Placing torches? I only have one torch. So... Oh, man. Oh, hey, he found some iron for me. Thanks, dude. A pathway up. Oh no, come come on. Oh. Hmm. You're experiencing secondhand anxiety? Why? I got this all under control. You don't trust me to get through here in a controlled and calculated manner? like the part where we came down before. It is! I know where I am! <laughs> so that means I didn't actually go that far. Game Awards tonight? No, I think it's tomorrow. Or was it yesterday? Oh wait, was it? Is it tonight? Is it Thursday? When is it? It's Thursday? Okay. Oh hey, it's a beautiful morning. Where the heck am I? There. Yeah, it's just lava here. I submit that the bunny should stop, like, hurting themselves. It makes me very sad. I am very, very confused about the time of day and what day it is at the moment because of the whole sleeping thing. Hi, Puffy. Welcome, welcome. I did 
could get a new axolotl, but it's not blue. I'm guessing the blue is just a color variant. Like, we found pink ones and orangey ones. Uh, we did explore the bamboo forest a little bit, but I'm gonna explore it a bit more soon. Get them go. I need to make a new chest. Do they despawn? Hope not! <laughs> Haven't yet. Wanted to make something. Oh, it was a chest. Wait, no, it's not a trap chest. It's just a chest. Thank you. They still don't have any seeds. They are growing, but they don't have any seeds. Yeah, this is my house. What to do with the diamonds? I was planning on hoarding them forever because, you know, anything that is finite or rare is incredibly stressful for me to deal with. Will this grow downwards? Nice. Okay. Yeah, I was planning on just hoarding it for an incredibly long time. <laughs> My shaders? Uh, exclamation mark shaders if you would like the link. My number one things that I might go for with the with the diamonds are either a pickaxe or armor. Forever. <laughs> Glistening, sorry, glistering melon slice. A diamond hoe seems incredibly wasteful. I can make a block of redstone, great.
Gotta hoe that dirt even better than before. Diamond hoe is your stage name? <laughs> yeah. I was watching that game show again, right? And one of the tasks was they were like, I don't know, 20 something socks hung up on a in a on a line and they had to figure out which one of the socks had a Setsuma in it and they were like restricted on what they could do to try and figure it out. And then one guy right at the very end was like, "This is the Satsuma." And he looks inside and it was it was a lime. <laughs> and he just went, "A lime!" and threw it. I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I can do with this red stuff. Mostly just seems like the diamond is what's useful. I kind of want to go start a fight with the pillagers. Oh wait, the debuff went away! Oh, finally! I am, I am free. What happened to the join channel and leave channel sounds? Do you have do not disturb on? Oh, they sound bad? Oh! They changed them? What? I, I've had them off for a very long time, I think. Hmm. I have a feeling I need to do something with the diamonds in order to- Because, you know, it's, it's a progression system. But I only have eight diamonds. I don't know what I want to do with those diamonds. Yeah, it's like four diamonds per piece of armor. It's all of my diamonds to make pants. <laughs> I can make a clock if I use gold and redstone. Well, I feel like if we're talking about progression, Dawn, then it would be the pickaxe because, like, certain picks can are only able to mine stuff. But if I have diamond pants, then I I will be pretty bedazzling. If Terraria taught me anything, it's that you need pick before to get the next ore. It's a pants or the play? <laughs> really? <laughs> hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I bet you. Do you remember that Hellgate that we had? I bet you you need to fix the Hellgate. And in order to do that, I need more of what the Hellgate is made out of. But before, I wasn't able to actually mine the Hellgate. So, I probably need a diamond pick to get the stuff that the Hellgate is made out of, just like in Terraria. <laughs> All those smiles.
Yeah, I probably need to at least make a diamond pick and then not use it for anything. And then... How about this? How about this? How about this? I make a diamond pick... And then I make shoes. With shaders, Cyberwolf. Pickaxe. Could make third, but I think I will make shoe. Cover me with diamonds. Nice. Yeah, I figured it out all by myself. It's basically the same area, so... I guess I will smelt all this iron down. Jeff Overtime, thank you for the 13 seconds. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the train. I haven't actually figured out what to do with these. Don't be sad because it's over. Smile because the streamer lacks critical information. Greater, thank you so much for the 26 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Very, very kind. Thank you very much. Look at them go. Resume. Hopefully... Diamond stuff is a little bit more... Holy frick. Is a little bit more durable? <laughs> yeah, my axolotls are called Zack and York. drop bait for my fishing rod. What a nice dude. If I give my axolotls lots of fish, will they make baby lottles? Spider, get down from there. Wait, is this thing non-aggressive? <laughs> Do you just get like hangry at night or something?
Looking for fish for my axolotls. Oh, it's puffer fish. Do not want puffer fish. Ow! Oh, I hate puffer fish. Even going for that dude, and he's being a dick. Oh crap! Eesh. Very upsetty spaghetti at night, to use the technical term. Yep. Look at this house that I made all by myself. <coughs> Ow. Eesh. I don't know where the other fish went. Did they eat it already? I guess they eat it. Oh no, there it is. They're just not hungry yet. Oh, I gotta do it like that. Oh. Okay. I'll be right back. There is a difference between feeding fish and allowing them to murder it for blood sport. Hey, Mark Fish, thank you for the 28 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. So, as far as I can tell, the squid are actually super chill, but they make me uncomfortable. There we go. I figure out pumpkins. I figured out pumpkins, and sugar cane, and watermelons, and axolotls. I am basically a pro. I kind of want to put a door here. I lost all the melons? That's not true. I have a million melon slices. I have not started another fight with the pillagers yet because the debuff wore off, so I was just leaving it be. Fish for axolotl. Fish for axolotl. Make baby axolotl. <gasps> baby axolotl! <laughs> oh god, is there some weird genetics thing at play where you have to have a certain color of axolotl with another color of axolotl to make a different color? Or is it completely random? Oh god. Why does feeding them make them horny? I don't know about you, but if I'm starving, I'm not particularly up for it. I got a new recipe, didn't I? Hold on. Saying that though, on a full stomach? No, not really either. <laughs> Maybe like an hour afterwards. Carrot on a stick. 
I am intrigued. Oh, it's no longer for fishing. It's maybe for horses? Hmm. But now I need a new fishing rod. <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Oh no, do I not have any string? And stick. Is that my only carrot? Yup. A zombie gave it to me. It is okay. I'm sure at some point we will find more carrot. I don't believe... Oh, look at him zooming! I don't believe the axolotls will ever die of starvation. They just won't breed again. What happened to the bunker on the top of the mountain? Um, I abandoned it for a bit. Found a more interesting place to live. Leather. <gasps> oh. It's okay, it's just the end times. Don't worry about it. Hey, letter bug. Uh... <laughs> so I maybe didn't have my hand on the keyboard, or on the mouse. And then when... <laughs> Welcome when I went to uh, do the thing, I just, like, slapped the mouse wheel. Don't worry about it. Anonymous, thank you for giving Bun Time a sub. Thank you, thank you. Wait, does rain make the fish more likely to bite? Should I be going into the jungle? You finished reading Mistborn? I am proud of you. What did you think of it? Like, all three books? Or just the first one? I like that I can jump while I'm fishing. Nice. I hope you enjoy all three of the original series. Who's your favorite character? Is this an eclipse? Oh, it's also nighttime now. Run! Do, 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 do. 
do 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 Way of Kings is fantastic. I love it. I'm not, I'm not sure which one I prefer, Way of Kings or Mistborn. I think... I think... Hmm. Mistborn, at least till this point, is a better self-contained story. I feel like the Stormlight Archives are about to go big. No, I've been meaning to read Dan. See you later, Mario Link. Have a good one. I hope you feel better soon. Way of Kings is, is pretty bonkers. It's like 1,200... Or sorry, Stormlight Archives is bonkers. It's like 1,200 pages per book. Yeah, I feel like Brandon Sanderson... The way he writes magic systems is really, really cool. Like, I love reading about, like, uh... Allomancy and Ferrochemy and, um... All of the stuff in Stormlight, basically, all the powers there are really cool. Ooh! What is this? It is a tree covered in vines. That's cool. It's like Ferrochemy? Ferrochemy? I can't remember. Oh, God. Oh, look, a whole forest, though. Lots of stuff to explore. Lots of wood to get. Uh, no, Warbreaker is one of the few that I didn't read. I read, uh, which one's the one... It's a Lyft solo book that then gets weirdly incorporated into the next Stormlight Archive book. So it's just like, wait, why did I read this? <laughs> the Martian's a good book. The Martian was a documentary. Yeah, I'm really glad that uh, that Matt Damon got back from Mars because otherwise we wouldn't have him in his really cool acting roles. <laughs> What's that? Oh, a lily pad. You. I never actually realized, you know that bit in um, Thor Ragnarok where they have that cameo for Matt Damon and I think it's Liam Hemsworth. Or is it the other Hemsworth? No, I think it's the other Hemsworth, not Liam. I never realized that that's actually Sam Neill playing Odin. <laughs> Didn't recognize him with a beard. I'm pretty bad at face recognition, so rip. <laughs> Oh, it's Chris Hemsworth. Wait, no, Chris Hemsworth. The, Chris Hemsworth is actually Thor. I mean, pretend Thor. Because there's there's Liam, Chris. Who's the other Hemsworth? The 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 one that was in Westworld. Luke, thank you. Apparently Matt Damon likes to pop up in a lot of cameos. There's another one. I don't remember what it was. But he was just like some random dude in the back of a truck that has like one line in a movie. And he's not even like on camera, but it is actually Matt Damon. Deadpool 2 was Brad... Tool? <laughs> Deadpool 2 was Brad Pitt. <laughs> or was Matt, it was, it was Matt Damon in Deadpool 2, 2 as well? Oh my god, I can't say De Deadpool 2... <laughs> 
Dead, dead, Deadpool 2. He was there? Okay. But of course. I like, I think one of my favorite cameos though is where like they made the joke about how the house was really empty and it was only ever Colossus and uh... Uh, whatever her name was, with the ridiculously long name. And then, like, it kind of, like, the camera changes, and, like, the rest of the cast is there, and they just kind of quietly close the door. <laughs> oh, yeah, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I actually struggle a little bit with Deadpool because, like, some of the the gross injuries that he get gets actually make me genuinely uncomfortable. Like, when his hand's all gross. Don't like it. <laughs> and I think at one point, like, his, like, some of his limbs break and it's, like, really, um, they're all, like, floppy or something. Oh, and he has, like, baby legs and baby... Yeah, no. Don't like it. <laughs> I still think it's like, I still watch it, but like, I do feel genuinely uncomfortable considering it's supposed to be funny. this is that a nut <gasps> the first step to making hot chocolate in minecraft <laughs> oh, so this area is kind of fucky. My CPU just went, why, Limo? <laughs> it's okay now, though. I am running at a crispy... 50-ish FPS. Oh, wait, back up. It doesn't like it when I start loading in new stuff. Holy crap, this place is dense. I probably shouldn't be here at night, right? I feel like the spiders are going to go insane. Enderman whoops. Speaking of night. These are some dense frames. Holy crap. It's, it's chugging a little bit. Look at it. Am I going to have to grow trees to get that chocolate to do stuff? It's not actually my GPU. My GPU is still pretty idle. It's it's not really doing a whole lot. Um, it's, it's more the uh, CPU. But it's not really like the CPU is struggling. It's only at 10%. But for whatever reason, my CPU runs really hot. <laughs> Don't know why. I guess Haha -ha Ryzen is the answer. Um. Why have I got a ping? <gasps> I cannot believe Chippy pinged me. Disgusting. <laughs> What's my RAM usage? Not a whole lot. I mean, it's only using... 2 gig of RAM? That doesn't seem right. Is there a way to make it use more? How do I- how do I allocate more RAM? 
I have to tell it to? Okay. Let me get home and then I will allocate... I will download more RAM. I'm using the stock launcher. I'm using... Yeah, and then it just like launches Omnif. Omnif. Fine. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it Omnifresh. <laughs> Optifine, whatever. <laughs> okay, chat, teach me the ways of of customizing my launcher. Hold on. Uh Oh boy, I can't wait for it to go up to 99% on my CPU again. It's gonna be great. Minecraft, use more RAM. How do I allocate more memory to my Minecraft launcher? Click the three dots next to my installation. I don't have three dots. Oh, wait, you mean on the installation tab? Okay, three dots. Edit. Game directory, resolution, more options, Java executable, JVM op augments. Oh god, that's a lot of... That's a lot of words. I don't have launch settings, I have JVM augments. Uh... Um... Can I show the launcher? Maybe? Maybe? Right where it says JVM augments, though, will be XMX minus 2G. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I have minus XMX 2G. Does that, does that count? Okay, so minus XMX 8G. Save. And then my Minecraft never launched again. <laughs> Okay, let's try it. 62% CPU, 99% CPU. Mmm, a toasty 77 degrees. That load felt faster. There it goes. Look at all that memory it can use. Wow. Allocated. We did it. Good job, team. Why? <laughs> Strider Rear Lord, thank you very much for the three entire years. Thank you, thank you. I don't understand you, Minecraft. Just how water works. It's not, though! That's a lie! <laughs> water shouldn't work that way! Were we having problems with the frame rate? No, I'm just like... I like optimizing things. I mean, although in the jungle we kind of were. I like making big numbers go bigger. Water physics might work differently in the UK. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, cause we, you know, we, uh... We drive on the wrong side of the road, it makes the water do weird things.
There's a new performance mod on the block? <laughs> oh boy. What's my favorite type of axolotl? I don't know. I like the one that looks cute. Alright, go on then. How do I make how do I make these things sprout the cute little seeds so they glow? <laughs> they wish to feast upon bones? Well, who am I to deny them? Pretty! Uh, no, I haven't gotten any texture packs installed. Look! I'm assuming bone meal is like fertilizer and the implication isn't that all the plants like to eat. Skeletons. Oh, thanks, EFB. Is this like Terraria, where if I dig up a chunk of jungle and then put it outside my house, that counts as a jungle biome? And then I could grow a tree and make beautiful, beautiful chocolate? No? Oh. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I can make leather horse armor. Whoa. Roll those horses I have. Cookie. Wait, hold up. Can I make cookies but not hot chocolate? Maybe I need to milk a cow. I need jungle tree saplings. So does that mean I need to go murder a jungle tree? For the cause! Honestly, Arctangent, that is what I did. I had like a mountain bunker and I, it was just like a hole in the wall. I didn't, I didn't make this. <laughs> I found a temple and I repurposed it and I put an aquarium in the middle because every house needs an aquarium. And that's what I did. Lying streamer. Pretending she made a temple. E even though she didn't. <laughs> Rich kid, thank you for the hundred bits. Honestly, I only got my model in September and I'm not very good at it. I keep I keep like eating when I <laughs> have the model activated and she goes yum 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 yum. Um I think if like do you already stream? Cuz I feel like streaming tips are better than VTubing specific tips. For me at least they're not that different because I don't do like that many just chatting type streams. That's the best part though. <laughs> like it when streamer attaches the bepis to her face. Yeah, for me specifically, I like using the avatar purely to convey like a visual aspect to my re reactions. Um we're actually, Limu's getting an upgrade. She's gonna be able, to, I'm gonna be able to move my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't have that right now. Cause I really, I really like tracking that is sort of, uh, or like I like trying to sort of make expressions without having to use the stickers. 
like stickers being like sad and stuff like that. I like the stickers, but if I'm playing a video game in the moment, I'm probably not going to be able to hit a sticker. So it's really nice to be able to have it track some level of reaction without using those. I'm gonna be able to do the rock eyebrow meme. Hopefully, apparently it has individual eyebrow tracking, so we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I purely VTubing for me was so that I could have something because I don't like I don't like uh, being on camera because I don't want to have to you know put pants on or get dressed in any sense of the word. So it's it's a nice middle ground where I can have this visual part to streaming without having to not be a slob. Uh, this is Java. So yeah, it's it's really nice to be able to to visually react to stuff, especially with those combo streams with Mike. A lot of the time, he renders me absolutely speechless, with like horror. And <laughs> if it wasn't for the VTuber, I would just be 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 like not reacting. Where whereas, whereas you know, um, with the VTuber, I can just be like. <laughs> uh, Lime, Lime Moo originally actually had blinking attached to her ears, but it's like I blink so often that it kind of just looked like she had a twitch. <laughs> so we unbound that and now she just has like slight wiggle physics on her ears when I move around. Because yeah, originally whenever I blinked, my ears would like twitch downwards. And that's cute if you only blink like every minute or so, but I blink constantly. So she just kind of looked like she was going... <laughs> so yeah, we we don't have we don't have anything attached to my blinking cuz it would just be a bad idea. Ow. I brought you a new lily pad. Hmm. Okay, it's been long enough. What do you want? <laughs> Why doesn't the glass go to the ceiling? Why would it go to the ceiling? It doesn't need to go to the ceiling. They can't jump out. They are axolotls, not axoclimals. <laughs> I mean, does Minecraft care if if you indulge in axolotl incest? Like if 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 I breed the same Actually, that's a point. I can't just breed the mother and father again because like I don't know which one is which anymore. <laughs> oh no! Yay. You're welcome, Rich Kid. Thank you again for the hundred bits. Yeah, there, there's there's two white and pink ones, so... Oh well. No, no. The pink one was the one I got from the caves. It's probably best not to think about it. Sweet home, Lottle Bama. Yeah, when I played Before Your Eyes, I specifically had to turn off the blinking component because otherwise you just never get to see any of the game because I would just blink it all away. Oh no, when I say pants, I typically mean, like, trousers. I don't really say trousers. I don't like trousers as a word. A lot of the people my age in the UK actually do say pants these days. Welcome aboard! 
RichKid465G, thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. Thank you very, very much. Welcome aboard. <laughs> and thank you for gifting this sub to the community. Thank you, thank you. I mean, in my circles, at least, people often say pants. I'm not saying it's everyone. Maybe they just say it because they're like, oh, look at, look at poor Limes. She's dumb and Americanized. Let's accommodate her. <laughs> it's probably it, to be honest. Welcome aboard. And Spicy Cheerios, thank you for continuing your sub. Speedrunning it. Thank you very, very much. Our jeans trousers, I just call them jeans. Yeah, you know, look at poor Laimu, she talks wrong. Ha ha. So, here's my dilemma, right? My dilemma is that... If... I continue breeding axolotls to see if I can try and get cool color variants, I will inevitably have to release some of the axolotls. And that makes me so very, very sad. <laughs> Just build infinite tanks? I mean, <laughs> there are problems with that solution. Oh, hi, chill spider. What's up? Ooh. I will be exploring this, I think. But I just realized that I don't have any torches, so I'll be right back. I have extra pickaxes, no problem. I get ridiculously attached to animals and games to the point where sometimes I avoid actually getting involved with them just because I know that it's going to completely mess up the way that I play things for the rest of the playthrough. <laughs> like in RimWorld, I specifically had to like get that mod to stop the ferrets from breeding because there was no way I was ever going to give away a ferret or let them get hurt. But at the same time, I don't want 30 ferrets in my, in my base. <laughs> I do have ferrets in real life. Why not? I mean, how much food would it take? Yeah, I had a, I had a ferret die in game because it got like killed by I think it was either a predator or maybe a uh, one of those um alien bug things in the caves. And uh, that that tore me up pretty big. Is Ark the one where everyone's, like, dick is out? No, that's Conan. Right? I, I get... <laughs> I get my survival builders mixed up. Rust, rust, okay. Oh, Conan has it too? <laughs> nice. I mean, disgusting, filthy. Sinful. Actually, that's a point. How does streaming that work on Twitch? If there's an option to turn off dongs, do you have to utilize it? Or do they allow you to get away with the dong setting because it is part of the original game? I 
I would think to be consistent with how I interpret have interpreted the rules in the past or how they appear to have uh, enforced the rules in the past, it would basically be like you can have your Conan dong as long as you don't spend the entire time sitting in character creator with it fully zoomed in just staring at it. But I don't know if you're like... I can never remember if there's a, like a thing about... I need to go read the TOS. I can not remember if there's a thing about like if you have the option to turn off nudity, you should take it. I don't think there is. Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm saying dong is indeed or... That's like, nudity is totally fine, providing it is part of the original game experience and you didn't mod it in. But... What, where does that go if you actually do have the option to turn the nudity off? Hey guys. Should I get rid of this just so they don't bother me anymore? Okay, well, I guess they're, they're making the decision for me. Hey, buddy. Does that guy have an enchanted crossbow? Am I in trouble? I like how it's raining just on the squares where the trees are. My shield is uh doing not so great, but we're 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 getting there. Do they respawn if I don't dismantle their entire base? Wait, they respawn anyway? Like even if I take out the whole thing? I like it when they shoot each other. Ow. Oh, my shield's gone. Goodbye. <laughs> They're hitting each other again. Yup. One of them just hit a rabbit. So wait, because I've chosen to live near pillagers, there will always be pillagers just chilling? That's annoying.
Wolf and then dark. Uh, oh, I need more oak planks. I mean, I feel like my home is pretty well defended anyway. This is this is single player just because I am uh, starting the game for the first time. So I need more diamond. So I guess what I would need to do to progress is. If that Hellgate is made out of obsidian, and it's anything like Minecraft, I need to throw water on lava, mine it out, and then build the gate. I'm sorry, if it's anything like Terraria. Ooh! <gasps> Finally! Nice. Ow. Do we get a game over? No! Wait, why would you assume that? Do you think that I am not fully capable? The diamond boots seem pretty durable, at least. They wouldn't go through all the trouble to make a gate into hell without it being, like, functional, right? They would do that. Wait, why are you still here? It's daytime! Leave! Actually, there's lava at the bottom of the Hellgate, so I could just use that. Is that one of the pillagers? Or is that a zombie? <laughs> or is that a squid? I think it's a squid. I don't, I don't know. He's, just, he's he's swimming. I mean, I figured out that if I put something of the same type in the furnace, or sorry, and combine it with something that I already have, it repairs it. But that seems like kind of useless because then I've j I've already had to use the materials to make the thing of the same type. Yeah, pillagers are annoying. Maybe I'll just leave them alone for a bit. What's that? Have we been in their tower? No, there's so many of them, I am getting murdered. Eesh. I actually have a couple of enchantments. Orange! Ooh. The grass here looks cool. <gasps> I found a thing. I have located a shaft. What could possibly go wrong? This is deep.
If I get to the bottom of this and it's just water, I'll cry. Oh. <laughs> that goes far. see coal, I see gold, and I see a piter. <laughs> no, I'm not almost full. Well, kind of. It's fine, don't worry about it. I have lots of spare tools. I'm not going to fall. How the heck am I going to get back up? What was that? Is it just me or does that have more eyes than a spider? You think it is a spider? Okay. I trust you implicitly. I don't know. That is a lot of red. But if chat says it's safe, it must be safe. That bat just caught fire. Oh, there's something up there. That looks like iron. That's annoying. the memes. We going. Hmm. I hear lots of things. I still don't know if that's a spider. <laughs> I am good, thank you. I'm trying not to die. But, uh... I might just do it anyway. Can I try and make my way over there, maybe? Wait, have I not got any of these blocks? Crap. I'm not using the diamond pick unless I absolutely have to because I want to preserve it. How could you ever think anything other than that I would survive? Have some goddamn faith, chat! <laughs> Is there an easy way to put blocks underneath? I don't seem to be able to, like, just build them in underneath where I am. You <laughs> so I'm to break my fall, okay, dude. Gravel, that's a good idea. 
Here's where I put my gravel, if I had any. Yep. A deep? Minus 67. I didn't dig down, I found a crevice. Considering I went up a mountain right before I came down here, uh, it really does go down far, doesn't it? There's something there that I want. <laughs> I'm gonna open it straight up into the lava, aren't I? Lava plops menacingly. <laughs> Dear broadcaster, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Ah, Thank you, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. God, it, 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 isn't it kind of crazy, though, that it's like... Almost Christmas already? I've been, like, so tired. I've been delaying trying to figure out what I need to get for everybody. And now I'm in that panic because it's like, oh. And now nothing will arrive on time. Good. Great. <laughs> Fortunately, my family is not really into Christmas presents. My mother has decreed no Christmas presents this year. So I only have to worry about my brother's birthday. What do I want for Christmas? Uh, your wonderful company. I have no idea where I am. Do you think I'm anywhere near where I wanted to be? Well... Is my brother Sagittarius? I don't know, he was born in December. Send me some cute pictures of his cat and a Christmas hat, actually. I'll see if he doesn't mind me posting them. He's got a pretty cat. It is a rag doll. Kid Sorito, thank you for the 16 months. Welcome back. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Lava. Glad you don't work like in Terari, I guess. There's something above the lava that I wanted, but I don't know what it was. It all seems so immaterial now. I feel like greeting for iron is a good way for me to just die. Got it. Did 
a skeleton spawning behind me or something? Okay, new plan. If I can get there, then we'll be good, right? Just gotta not lose my way. It spawned inside me, D colon. <laughs> Hello, Skellington. I always feel like descending directly down into the lava is just the best way to go. The worst has already passed. One day, I'm going to figure out how to play this game efficiently. It's going to be great. You could have named him Kovu? That's adorable. What made me decide to play this game for the first time? Well, they just updated it. And I don't know. I wanted something to play that didn't... strain my brain meat too much while I'm sick. And I felt like, you know, this is the kind of game where you could have... or spend as much or as little time in it as you want. Hey, guys. my sword. Is that it? I thought I had another sword. Huh, weird. Matchy Muffins, thank you for the 22 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. What's got peering up in the top right there? That was weird. Oh well, I made it! Time to fill it with light. Oh my god, it goes even further down. If I put enough of these, will they stop? Holy... Into the abyss. Maybe a replicant. Thank you for the 18 months. Welcome back. <laughs> as long as you do so responsibly. Thank you, thank you. Damn, and it goes down that way too. We could be in here for hours. Maybe... It might be best to make like a mini base of operations here. Yeah, okay. Let's do... Wait, I don't have any wood! Why don't I have any wood, Limes? Why are you the worst? Uh... I just need a furnace. Go get some? <laughs> you realize how long it took me to get up here? Or get down here, even? Hmm. 
We hope you have a great time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, everyone. We hope you have a great time. Thank you very, very much for dropping by, all, I don't know, 20 million of you, apparently. It is good to see you all. My name is Limes. I am on UL's Vine Sauce team. Uh, I'm... I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. <laughs> you all made you all say penis? That doesn't sound like him. He's such a polite boy. <laughs> totally legit tech support. Thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back. So this is my first time playing Minecraft, and I found this gigantic chasm. And then I forgot to bring wood, so I have no way of making more tools. And it took me 20 minutes to get in here. And I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, welcome, welcome, you guys. Thank you very, very much for joining us. What what were, what were were you watching over on Yule's channel? I guess I could just make a pillar and ascend to heaven. Is that the way up? I think that's the way up. Nothing? You were unpaid actors? Part of his new video? T t tell me more. He made you say a bad word? <gasps> Chat, you know that the streamer shouldn't be able to pressure you into doing anything you don't want to do, right? You deserve better. Okay, so from... I'm only catching bits and pieces of this explanation, but from what I can gather, Yule was making a video about penises, and he wanted to include a section where the chat screams penis? Is that... is that it? Am I close? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. It's always, it's always, it's always good to bring awareness to that kind of thing. The existence of penises. Regardless, thank you so much for dropping by. It is most appreciated. I'm gonna climb all the way out of this freaking hole and go get a tree. Look, I found a mesa. Oh, is this the video that he hinted was gonna be a thing? Welcome I remember. I remember seeing. I remember seeing hints of a video. I am a quiver with anticipation. Scout scoot see, skeet. <laughs> oh goodness! Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. This is a. This is a, a good and wholesome stream. We've never talked about penis here, right? Uh oh my my oh no I do have a spare axe, not even once. Like isn't it pretty up here? Look how freaking pretty it is. And now I'm gonna ruin it by cutting down all the trees. You like my diamond boots? Hell's yeah, you do. I don't have fart reverb. The only funny noises I have are from Sonic the Hedgehog. I've got. Oh no. And then I can overlap it because it's hilarious. Oh no, no, oh no, oh, no, 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 no. And then I also have, oh hey, Pink Kitty Rose. Can we get a shout out for Pink Kitty Rose and another one for you all now that the chat's calmed down a little bit? And then I also have. Get a load of this! And that's it. I used to have more, but I ended up replacing it with visual gags instead. I have, I have, I have Subliminal Redfield. And I also have placed the brick in the wrong place, Affleck. It's gonna be my next Twitchy mode, I think. Lime's Affleck. Did Charmy B get removed? I don't know if I ever had Charmy B on my soundboard. I need to get a bigger stream deck purely for like sound chip hosting because now I have to tab between like four different pages on this thing. It's too small.
What type of content? Uh, I am Variety. I stream just about everything. We're usually pretty comfy cozy here. Occasionally, it all goes a little bit nuts because I, de I decide to stream Sonic 06 for 17 straight hours until I finish it. <laughs> but fortunately, I run out of Sonic games for the most part, so we won't have to do that again for a while. <laughs> Welcome up! Yeah, I think the one thing that really fucked up my uh, my stream deck was all the VTuber expressions that took like six slots or something. Welcome aboard. Fat Miguel, thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. Thank you, thank you. And Fumpin, <laughs> thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's make a uh, crafting table. Wait, no, I need to make I need to make planks. And then I make a crafting table. And now I can go downstairs and make a furnace. I think. Actually, I'll make the furnace up here just in case I fucked up. Oop. And then I make... <laughs> furnace has an eye in it, right? Uh... Sonic and the Black Knight? What the heck is Sonic and the Black Knight? What? It's a Wii game? Why are there more? Why are there more Sonic games? Why don't they ever end? I played so many of them and they're still not over. <laughs> There's always another one. <sighs> Sonic but with sword. So we've had Sonic with sword, Sonic with gun, except actually shadow. We've had... Sonic, but werewolf. <laughs> and Sonic, but lots of different things. How many more Sonic can we possibly get? Oh, we've also had Bioware Sonic. Which is more like crippling disappointment Sonic. I'm sorry, Bioware. I used to love you. I loved you so much and you betrayed me. Did I pick up the furnace? I did. Okay, thank god. Uh... <laughs> oh no! Stop! Okay, so we've made... Let's make a cozy little base by the lava. Monsters don't destroy things in this game, right? I only got four iron? Son of a... Creepers do? Only if, like, I frick up, I think. Oh, I should make a chest. You yeah, boy. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna put my extra bucket there. Oh, no, but what if I find an axolotl? Okay, I'll put it there. Um, I could put the gold there. I don't need the gold right now. Is this a new world? No. I abandoned my bunker on a mountain, and I went across the sea, and then I found a desert, and then I appropriated a temple for myself and made it a shrine to my axolotls. <sighs> and now I'm inside a mountain. <laughs> All out in the open right by the lava? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, wait, do I have that much coal? Damn, dude. Alright. Do I need a new... I need a new iron pickaxe, so I'll do that too. I do have a Discord. It is sub only, though, because otherwise the moderation requirements are probably go a little bit nutty. Unfortunately, but if you would like information on how to join and you are subbed, please type exclamation mark type... Uh, slash, exclamation mark Discord. I, I know my own commands, I swear. 
I'm actually really liking Minecraft. I wasn't sure about it at first because I was a little bit overwhelmed by the whole idea that like... Um... The progression isn't really the same kind of like... Because I played Terraria. And there I feel like the progression is all very sort of laid out. Whereas in this it's kind of just like... Yeah, go exploring and maybe you'll find some ore, make a pretty house. It's not like... Find or make thing, do boss, find more or make other thing, do boss, like Terraria. It's it's very different, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, you get like a three day grace period, I think, if it expires. I know that some discords have like a non-sub channel. So maybe that's something I could look into, because I always feel bad when people... Because, like, we have, like, consistent communities in there now. And it feels bad to be like, hey, later, loser. <laughs> yeah, it can be much harder to moderate. That's the problem. My mods are all... Nice people taking time out of their day to do the thing. So I don't want to put, like, a ton of stress on them. Failure to pay the fair tax is death. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Any mods besides shaders? No. Wait. Oh, that's a way out too. Neat. Anyway, down into the abyss. I don't know why I chose to go the claustrophobia route, but here we are. Spider hisses. Do spiders really hiss? Don't certain ones, like... Vibrate the hairs on their body or something and it sounds like hissing? I remember watching a video of a really huge spider and when it moved it sounded like it was hissing. But I think it was the sounds of the hairs. I like Eight-Legged Freaks, the movie. <laughs> Where the spiders make noises like, Wee! That's fun. The jumping spiders are great in that movie. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, Ender, dude. Triage, thank you for the 19 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I've still never seen a cockroach in real life. The hairs on your legs make a hissing noise. <laughs> uh, tropical fish flops. Oh no, is this another tropical fish dead zone? We found a waterfall that basically went into the lava and spread out across the rocks in another cave, and it was just basically Tropical Fish Dead Zone because they kept spawning in the waterfall and then just, like, flopping down to their death and beaching themselves on the rocks. Oh god, no, it's happening again! Stop! <laughs> that guy wants me to look at him. Look at him, he's staring at me. Enderman is now face monster from Sweet Home. Here I am shilling Sweet Home again. Ow, fuck! Let me jump. Stop. Desist. I just saw axolotl splashes. <gasps> Baby! Oh, look, there's a tiny one too! Oh no, they're stuck in the water! 
water! <laughs> Save them! <laughs> Where are my buckets? More to add to my collection. Come here, darling. Oh, don't swim away. It's not safe! Help! Oh god, the great beachening is happening. Look at him! Wait, where'd the rare one go? Ah, crud. There's so many of them. Can axolotls beach themselves, or are they okay if they go up? This place is death. <laughs> this is where fish go to die. It won't let me scoop the axel. Oh no no no! Don't hit the axel! Please 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 please! It just keeps raising my shield. Why can I not pick him up? Well, it's just, it's just doing this. I need water in the bucket. How how? Oh god! Do I need to find the water source to get the water in the bucket? Because it's not letting me. This isn't going to go well, is it? There's a- there's a cool speckled axolotl and I'm not gonna be able to get it. I have received a bucket of tropical fish. That's not actually what I want. Oh no! <gasps> Fuck. I- I am the ender of worlds. Everything is terrible. They're all gonna die. No! <laughs> Help! Help! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean it! <laughs> no! Okay, I saved one! If I can save only one, it must be you. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Wait, I got water! Come here! Come here! Wait! Okay. Oh no! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Quick, the water's over this way! Go! Go! I'll save you! I'll save you! <laughs> You're almost there! To water, Axolotl! To water! Jump in! You can do it! Oh, thank god! <laughs> oh... It's fine. I just took your entire family, don't worry about it. Oh, but I need that iron, but if I remove it, the water's gonna go funny, so let's just put that there. There. Wait, wait, no, come on! There's like a whole pond here! I thought you were gonna die, you little shit! Look at him, he's like, zoom, zweesh! <laughs> what a dick. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. I did, I killed all the fish for no reason. There are no more fish. I can make another another bucket maybe because now that axolotl is all alone. I mean, if you think about it, just 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 wait a second. If you think about it, right? I actually did those fish a favor because all they did was endlessly spawn in that waterfall, fall down, and die. I have- I have removed them from the cycle of death because <laughs> there were 23 tropical fish that got washed down there and died. <laughs> it's not copium, it's the truth! Whatever, dude. 
Lime Stenos? Yeah. What if they were perfectly happy, endlessly trying to swim up the same waterfall and dying over and over again? Well, then they're dumb! <laughs> Oh, hey, Enderman. Ow! <laughs> Ow. Oh, really? Again? Come on, dudes. Uh, give me one second. I can fix. Do not worry. I can fix it, Felix. Uh... Welcome aboard. Bestie VT, thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. Thank you very, very much. Over three months? Holy heck, thank you. Let me just... It's okay. I'll disable that in just a moment. Do not panic, Arino. Okay. That should hopefully fix it. You're determined lately? I think it's more likely to happen if you're in, like, a popular category. Most eyes on it and all that. Wait, so I decided to take my chest with me so it would be easier to make things again in the future, right? Why didn't I take both of them with me? What? what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> First time you've ever seen a bot raid? Oh, they're pretty consistent lately for me. I think we've had one every single Minecraft stream, so maybe they really like Minecraft. Does not follow her only? Not usually. I could turn it on if it gets bad, but... Usually it's easy enough to just, uh, filter a particular word. Cooking dance? Yeah, I guess. Can I eat a raw egg? Oh no! <laughs> he never even had a chance to live! I did it last time, although that last time it was off a mountain. I have to throw it into my own mouth to eat it. So yeah, I could make a bucket and take that last axolotl with me because he's making me a bit depressed, but I don't really need another axolotl. I mean, he's happy in the wild, right? 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 I already have three at home. That's a bad noise. <laughs> Don't hurt the axolotl, you dick. What, read number two, the sequel? But wait, how, how can we... we... Hope you'll have a great time. <laughs> You want to thank you again for the raid. Welcome, welcome, everyone. We hope you have a great time. Again. <laughs> raid Shadow Legends 2. <laughs> I 
What's that Groundhog Day quote? And it looks like it's raid time. Again. <laughs> no, thank you very, very much for dropping by again. I appreciate that that very, very much. And thank you again, Yuel. I hope I hope your penis video is going great. The what now? He the chat said that he was making a video about penises. We're not gonna judge here. Takes a long time to render? Well, something of that size would. <laughs> uh That Enderman is desperately trying. Are you stuck on a leaf? <laughs> Get out of here. Dr. Hardballer, thank you very much for the 10 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Some more raw iron. I guess we can now replace my hat. Because my hat's fucked. Let's do that. Uh, would it just be easier to do these two together? I don't know with an extra hat. There we go. Wait, why are you spawning? It's bright down here. Frick off. Ow. Is this an axolotl hunt? No, it was more like an exploration, but I have this problem where I just can't not pick up axolotls if I see them. It's a chronic condition. Where are they spawning? They must be spawning up there and then wandering down. Oh, look at the way the light works. Okay, um... I'll make a new chest plate too. I think my pants will last a little bit longer. And then pick these up, take them with me. Is the general rule if it's wooden, you pick it up with a axe, and if it's stone, you pick it up with a pick? It's a shader. I don't think it's actual RTX because I don't think they can do that. But it's a cool emulation of it. Because this is the uh, non-bedrock edition, whatever that is called. <laughs> um... Oh, it costs muns? Alright. Mm, what was I doing? Oh, making torches. Oh, Alright, so I need to do it this way, don't I? Put that there, put that there. Oh, got torches. Oh, why did I do that? Now they take up two slots. <laughs> okay, so... Let's throw some rotten flesh down the flesh hole. Mm, don't need that moss either, I don't think. Oh, I did have an iron sword. I thought I had an iron sword. Or I throw out this stone sword at this point. Don't need that gravel. Like my VTuber? Thank you. It's very, very kind of you. Perfect. We are perfectly equipped to keep exploring. Um, do you think I should make another chest and put the oxalotls in it so that if I die horribly, they, they don't despawn? That's probably for the best, right? I can come pick them back up.
Okay, you kids be good. Inside a bucket, inside a chest. Don't let me forget them. Okay, chat. Hi, hey, Respark. Hi, hey, Cook Clown. Ow! Dicks! <gasps> That's so many. Go away. No help? Reminders are fine. If I didn't know better, I think you wanted me to fail for content. Ooh, level 30. Goku, thank you for the 25 months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm not playing on an open server right now. So you would not be able to join my game. I am learning how to play in single player. Because I have never played this before. <laughs> I thought that was a squirrel. When will the constant neglect of ferret stops? Stop. When will when, when will they become base game? They're never included. I feel like if, if one is included, it's always otters. What games I like to play? I play pretty much everything, to be honest. Unless it's like a fighting game or a lot of racing games I don't play either. Otherwise, I'm pretty much all over the place. Chat's never tried to kill me. They've never told me to shoot the water in Resident Evil 4 or jump down onto a pressure plate. Or any number of other things that they actually totally did tell me to do because they're jerks. <laughs> you would never? Oh, okay, I must be thinking of a different chat. diamonds yet. God, no. <laughs> Not again. Boop. I swear these things are spawning in a way that specifically is trying to trick me into looking at the Enderman. Poor fish. Boop. Oh, look. So, this kind of thing is new to the update, right? This wasn't here before? Because it's cool. It's like the best part so far. What's that over there? What are the odds on me getting lost and forgetting how to find the axolotls? <laughs> I 
and they called it a mine. A mine! I, th I think I'm due an extended edition rewatch. It's been a while. Because axolotls are quite cute. Oh. I made a terrible mistake. And they make cute noises. They go, weep. One of my favorite Left 4 Dead custom maps was the uh, Elms Deep one. Even though it was an absolute clusterfuck by the end. Which I guess is accurate. No problem. Wasn't even scared for a minute. Chad, are you still keeping track of how we got in here? You know where we're going, right? Uh, exclamation mark shaders if you would like info on which ones I'm using. Do I have space left? Nope! <laughs> Oh, look, a chest. I... I don't trust it. Oh, it's okay. The Curse of Vanishing. And some glowberries. And powered rails. Hmm. Oh, dear. I'm running out of space. Okay. I mean, the enchantment is red, so there's a fairly decent chance it might vanish me. You know what? I miss my axolotls. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever see them again. Oh god, not, not now! <laughs> Do it, nerd. Do what you want. We are 31 deep. We're actually not very deep. Shields do, but I think it takes like a giant chunk out of their durability, so. I started under a mountain. I think maybe I should go back up for now. So that means we should totally retrace our steps and get back to where we were, right? Right?
pretty sure... I don't know. I, I feel like that's a dangerous meme to use. I remember when, um... When I used a certain form... Like, if someone used the, the I am 12 and what is this meme, you actually had to ban them because of, like... Uh, what's it? What's the what's the law? Is it Copa? 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 Like if you can't verify their age, and you're a thirteen plus site, you gotta you gotta take them out. Ow! Yeah, exactly. You can you can get yeeted off the of forums for using that. Be careful. Not on the law? Yeah, but a lot of sites will, will, uh, yeet you. I think it's because if you sign up to their site, you're, you verify that you're over 13 years of age or something. On that particular forum. You got your Gaia online account banned for five years for pulling I am 12 and what is this? That that was the forum. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. They will slap you so hard. <laughs> um... So, chat, you remember how I was saying that I totally wasn't gonna get lost? Uh Fighting Tart, thank you for the 20 months. Welcome back. Uh Why didn't I note down the coordinates for where the axolotls were? Oh god, they're lost forever. My babies. Why is it snowing? It's so lost. <laughs> Help. Oh, wait. I remember there was a chest and I was like, oh, that chest is bad news. And then, oh, is this it? What do you mean, no one tell her? What the heck, Mike? I thought we were cool. Can we get a shout out for Jabroni, Mike, please? I... I, I don't know where I am. I I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. Oh. Is it this way? This looks... maybe? Oh! Wait, no, yes! Yes, this is it! The Tyrannas, thank you so much for the 14 months. Welcome back. Hi, Dirty Merlin, and hi, Chunky Applesauce. I, f I found it. Look, there's, there's the second death waterfall. I passed some iron in my panic. Oh, I did. Oh, 
Oh, that's, that's copper. That's not iron. I mean, I have undoubtedly passed a lot of, of, of iron in my travels. I always place the torches on my right, I'll never get lost. I mean, that requires me to, like, explore in a well-constructed and thought-out way. And that's just not me. Like, having any kind of sense of organization or direction, that, that doesn't sound like me at all. I wonder if that's the original axolotl that's made it down here. He's following me like, please, take me with you. <laughs> you already kidnapped my family. Now I feel guilty. <laughs> Why do I feel so guilty? Oh, hello, glow squid. Wheat. Oh, rip. <laughs> I tried to help him. <laughs> Glue ink sack. I tried to push him back in, but it was not to be. Limes killed him? I did not! I was trying to push him back into the water. I will not stand for that slander. Oh my god, there's somewhere to explore down there, too. Oh look, more axolotls! Holy shit, it never ends. This place is huge. It's not slander, it's written so it's slime. <laughs> okay. J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, I think I can slow hop back up. Just gonna wait here for oh, that iron to smelt. How goes my craft? It's going real well. I am not dead. I didn't find any diamonds on that particular run, but I found diamonds beforehand, and I got these six shoes. I am level 30. Does that mean anything? I am unlikely to find diamonds in the next couple of minutes because I'm going to go back up for a sec. Oh, I see, Jay the Bread. I suppose Minecraft would be fairly peaceful for that, too. At least right up until I get exploded and then scream. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if there were skill points and I hadn't spent any this entire time? <laughs> Oops. No, don't just smile. Stop it. <laughs> I 
Do I have my flying mount yet? No, I need to make a thousand gold. Ma'am, what were the old amounts for flying? Was it a thousand for flying and five thousand for epic flying? I just remember grinding the uh, Nether Drake cave for ages for reputa reputation so you could get the one flying mount that was available there. Back in my day, we had like two choices for flying mounts. Either the Gross Griffin or a Drake, and everyone picked the Drake. <laughs> the other Drakes are cool. Okay, Grandma. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll leave these down here. For my next excursion, but for now I'm going to return to my temple. I don't think uh, anyone from the raid has seen the temple yet because I went there. Or I've been down here the entire freaking time. Uh, can I climb up this way? I don't think it's made for climbing. Hello, Simplified. Oh, thank you. Up. Yeah, this is largely vanilla. There's like no gameplay or object or texture mods. It's just uh, vanilla plus a shader. Every time I come up here, I have to place ooh, extra blocks to jump up. So it's like shifting by one block every single time. Am I tired? I... Well, that's my secret. I'm always tired. <laughs> Maybe? Do you think I should make stairs? A ladder. That sounds very organized. Oh god, it's nighttime. Uh, which way is home? <laughs> I'm gonna die. <gasps> no! <laughs> Hold on. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Where is where's my temple? I wanna go home. Okay, it's this way. What shader? Still there is. There's a direct link if you type exclamation mark shader. So, I think. Oh, it's just shader. Ooh, my bad, I lied. I do have a mesa. I haven't figured out what to do there yet because I found a giant, giant ravine and got distracted. But... As, as a con, I do have a, uh, a pillager thing as well, so that sucks. Hi, Fyro. You're liking my playthrough? Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, that's a bunny! <laughs> In the silhouette, I thought it was like a disembodied hand, like, thing.
Gyrus, thank you for giving the gift of sub to the Hylian Guard. Thank you, thank you. Oh god, why? Why are you here? Holy! I like I like gaming. <laughs> Run. Goodbye. Uh, I played Dragon Quest Builders too. I did enjoy it up until a point, but after a while, I felt like the game was dragging on for very little reason. I now have uh, quite a few of them. I might have to consider expansion. Yeah, I might really have to consider expansion. Not every axle. Maybe we could put them in the ocean? Will they be okay there? Not every axe, just most of them. <laughs> what about... What about... What if I just go over here? and fence off a gigantic part of ocean. Does that work? It would require a lot of work, because I would need to... Like, yeah, that's, that's a lot of fencing I'm going to have to do. Wait, do they not like the, the sunlight? Yeah, I could I could fence off this just this section here. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm going to use up all of my cobblestone doing this. But it's worth it because axolotls. Wait, did I leave all of my cobblestone in the box? Frick. I had so much Just click send. No problem. Do they despawn if their enclosure's big? I thought the bucket was magical and made it so that they never want to leave. What am I doing? I... 
I'm making a sea enclosure for my axolotls. What? Okay. AKA destroying the natural environment for my needs, yes. Have I made iron tools yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Spawn tool, maybe, maybe. Okay, that's that's a nice enclosure size, I think, for many many axolotl. Holy crap! This gets deep. <laughs> okay. I don't know if they're okay in the sun. I've never tried to put them in the sun before. The shader is, uh, Silders. Too high for them to escape from, right? Crap, I ran out of sand. Axolotl chirps, axolotl splashes, axolotl swims. I like the word axolotl, it's cute. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Axolotls are the true ferrets of the sea <laughs> and not otters. <laughs> in a way that doesn't look too unnatural, so I'm having to fix that gigantic ravine that I just made. I don't know if, if axolotls are natural home protection creatures. <laughs> axolotls are basically dogs, dude. I like this song. 
axolotls are very, very cute. I hear they're they're real dumb though, and they'll do things like if you have substrate that's like of a particular size, they'll try and eat it. Or no, no, they won't try to eat it. But when they're like eating their own food, they accidentally like get the substrate in their mouths and then choke and die. So they sound kind of like a pain in the ass to take care of. Am I eating raw clownfish? Yes, I am. Shaders always kind of make me laugh, though, because I have this beautiful environment stretched out in front of me, and it's not clear that it's Minecraft because it's quite dark. And then you look at my sword. <laughs> and it's just a bunch of cubes shoved in a diagonal. It's like, oh yeah, Minecraft. Uh, it is Dynasty Lobster. I don't think Minecraft distinguishes between water types. Oh good, Jibby. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> hey, blue sky. Welcome, welcome. You like my temple house? Thanks. I'm scared. What if this doesn't work? Oh, look! Berries! Cute. Thank you, Simplified. I did see the baby Axel. It's cute. There was a chest down below. I looted it, and then I blocked it all in, because it is a death pit. I started noticing these things aren't despawning. Is it because they see me before... Before, uh... Day shows up? I'm going through all of this effort and... I don't know, I just get this ominous feeling that something's going to go wrong. <laughs> I don't want any harm to come of my beautiful axolotls, so I'm kind of nervous. Oh, 
Oh, hello. No, let me up. Frick. Frick, I'm goofed. <laughs> let me go to the other side. The... I don't know exactly where I want to build along. I guess this this wall. Almost there. Oh, that sinking feeling. Wait, is that a hole? <gasps> I was almost betrayed. Did I meet any villagers yet? Yes, and I stole their stuff. I like the noises that they make. They're like, hmm. Um. Um. Why do Endermen take brick? Yeah, I had a merchant on my first house and he was there for ages, so I pushed him down a cliff. I realized that <laughs> this game makes me sound incredibly antisocial, I swear I'm not. Why can I not just drop this down here? Oh, the world is best. Welcome, welcome. We're almost there. And I'm gonna run out of blocks again. Fuck. <laughs> I feel like I'm making like a... Shark enclosure or something. Oh boy, I hope this game doesn't have sharks. Mine shark. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. I made a pool, I did. Went back in. Thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. What if they get eaten? I will cry. I don't think there are any holes now. No, no, I found, I found, oh. <laughs> I found the hole that was underwater. Okay, so let's give them. 
Let's do this so zombies and stuff don't spawn. See you later, blue sky. Have a good one. Thanks for being here. Okay. <sighs> I'm scared. My poor Axel is... Up there, okay. Alright, so let's get bucket and bucket. Maybe I should do it another high? Like one more high or something? We'll do- we'll do one axolotl for now and see what happens. Uh, which axo do we take? We have a white one. Is that a different color or is it just the lighting? We have a speckled one, a pink one. I think we have two of these. So... Oh, I hope you are okay! I do not have a blue axolotl. Can I climb a brick this- or like something this high? Do I need to put it another high or is it okay? Maybe I should put it another high. I just don't want them to get hurt by so Ow, oh, frick, I fell down again. Ooh, it could make a fence. Okay, let's see. You like it? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's okay. See, he's fine. Everything's fine. So I guess we will... We will sleep and see if he's still there in the morning. You know how people make all these grand structures and stuff in Minecraft? And I'm here, like... freaking around with axolotls for two entire streams? Oh, but McMegan, thank you very much for giving the gift of a sub to Catley as well. I don't know if I, I quote that out. I think I did. But I was very distracted by axolotl. So thank you very much. The only problem is, what if something wanders in here? Maybe I should fence this section, not so that he can't get out, but so things can't wander in? Nova Jean, thank you for the 30 months. Welcome back. Mm 
Do I have three different colors? Oh, sorry, four different colors in here? I think I do. I have like a yellowy, a white one, a pink one, and a speckled one. I don't think it's blue. Is it blue? No, it's not. It's like white. Uh, I was gonna keep the tiny indoor pool and still have axolotls in there. Just have like one big pool for all of my rehab axolotls as well. I am genuinely very, very, very tempted to just like abandon everything and go crazy trying to get the How does this work? Okay. Like trying to get the other axolotl. Is it like this? There we are. Okay. Axolotl rehab. <laughs> They're cute, okay? You still okay in here? Yep. And he has places to dive now. And a little deep sea part over there. I kind of wish I'd I had fenced off a bit where there's like more coral and stuff, but never mind. <laughs> Night, Hito. Sleep well. Cute. If I no, if I dig up the coral, it break. It dies. Like, it turns into dead coral block. Phew! Thank you for a blessing. It's very kind. Elevator. <sighs> or is it Fe Vedra? Fe Vedra? Vedra, maybe. Yeet. My long term goal could be making a massive aquarium complex. Honestly, that sounds really fun. <laughs> People are like, hey, how are you progressing? And I'm like, I've been building an aquarium for 80 hours. <laughs> Sunday Brawl, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. <gasps> I, have a, I have an amazing idea. What if I replace all this sand with glass blocks? That's a lot of coal. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of additional work. Yes, it does. But what... Imagine it. Imagine it. I replace all this with glass blocks. And then 
I make an, an extra external wall around here, and I drain out all the water in here. Oh, that's weird. And then, and then you can walk around and look at the axolotls swimming, like a real aquariums. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, it died. Rip. What shader? It's still theirs. <laughs> Lame's venting because she still can't go to the aquarium. Yeah, it is. This is how I cope. I mean, to drain out the water, couldn't I just put, shove a bunch of blocks, like, here? And then when I take them away, there won't be any water anymore, right? Go away, pufferfish. Why will they refill if they are still blocked off? I have tried eating a puffer fish. It was awful. <laughs> why? Why? Uh, that's a decent amount of fish. Is Axo still okay? There he is. Look. I don't know if it, I don't think it let me eat the puffer fish or sorry, cook the puffer fish, and I don't know why. What would me, what would qualify my digital sea world as more ethical? I don't know if that that particular pen is particularly ethical. You will. It's a, it's a mod, or oh, sorry, it's a shader. It's very pretty. Let me let me get the. Uh... Oh, I should eat before I starve horribly. Thank you again for the reads today. Chat said you were making a penis video. Is that true? Confirm, deny. only sleep at night. It's basically night. Come on. Maybe I want to go to bed early. Isn't it pretty? You're making a bowls video? Oh, well, everyone knows that that's completely different. God, chat, you mixed up your facts? You can only sleep at night. It's night! Come on! Thank you. So, yeah, this is- this is my- uh, Ow. This is my plan. I'm going... God, this is gonna take forever. I'm going to replace all of this sand... ...with glass. And then I'm going to... ...put... A pathway or a, a bunch of blocks along here to isolate this section here. And then I'm gonna put some more blocks here to remove the water from it. And then I will have a beautiful axolotl viewing gallery. 
I'm going to put a ladder as well because otherwise I'm going to get stuck in here every time I fall in. Uh... There. Perfect. And I'm going to make Glimes' beautiful aquarium. And it's going to be great. I'm sure the axolotls will never learn how to use ladders. Don't worry about it. What time is it for me? It is midnight. Okay, so time to crank that furnace and start making a shit ton of glass. Ooh, fish. Uh, sand. Coal. Perfect. Question, is there a risk of the Enderman coming in and like removing blocks in the aquarium and- <laughs> And letting the axolotls out! And it's rare it has any significant effect. It's going to have a significant effect, isn't it? They won't take the underwater blocks? Well, that's nice, at least. Uh, exclamation mark Discord for information about the Discord. Holy vines! Maybe I should make another furnace. I actually have another furnace, so maybe I should put that furnace down. <laughs> Inefficiency. Uh, okay, let's go get a heck ton of sand. Should I replace the cur current layer of sand, or shall I just, like, place them to the side of the sand just in case, like, I fuck up and accidentally release the axolotls or something? bucket for safety, but they only just got into this house. Or Axos. Alternatively, I could make the new enclosure over here. Because over here, we have beautiful coral. But it is much deeper, so it would take a shit ton more glass. Look, look how deep it is. But look how cool it is! Holy, that's deep though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, uh, that is possibly... ...not hugely feasible. Hi, Jerry. Thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I think it might be easier just to move that coral later. Hmm. 
You know, if that is actually possible. Oh no, Dalian, even on the, like, the lower end ones? Yep, for some people, they explore and look for stuff and, you know, beat, beat the bad guys and win. For me, I'm gonna be here making an aquarium for the next uh, 50 hours. This is going to take forever. So what I could do is I could just expand this out a little bit. Are they still in here? There's one. Where right the other? There they are. They zoom in. Cyber attack. Yeah, there's no coral over here, which is kind of sad. So... I think I can eventually move the coral, which is going to be much easier than trying to block that one in because of how big it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the glass next to the sand, and then I'll, I'll open it up. Actually, hold on, someone did make a good point. Let me... Okay, you can see through it. I just wasted two pieces of glass to figure that out, but... That's gonna look cool. I didn't want to use the pains because the pains were painful last time. I can fix the fact that the, the, the sand took away the water, right? That should work okay, right? Like, once I remove this, I just, like, bucket dump a little bit. It should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> Perfect. Is Iris that hot new performance shader or er, performance thing I keep getting told about? The alternative to Optifine? Optimize? Omnifine? Fucking <laughs> don't know what it's called. Something something with an O. <laughs> Oh, that's sodium. What's iris? Phew! Ah, sorry! Oh, it's for shaders? I see. How old am I? Impossibly ancient. I am an endless being. Thank you. 
I mean, I actually used the phrase back in my day today, so... I think I'm legitimately a grandma now. I really enjoyed the original 90s X-Men. I actually have warmed to Evolution a lot though in more recent years. I feel I feel like I wasn't sure about it when I was a kid because I was like, these aren't the 90s X-Men. Why is Rogue not able to fly and punch real hard? But the way it actually dealt with a lot of stuff was pretty cool. I think I think Evolution is pretty good. Upon review would rate it higher than I did as a child. My only lasting hate for evolution is Gambit's design. What did they do to your hair, Gambit? <laughs> oh my god! Your favorite X-Men is Jojo. <laughs> I was saying to chat actually, I legitimately have never watched anything to do with that. It's... I don't know, it's the art style. I'm gonna get crucified. I find it really off-putting. Jojo is Japanese X-Men? Is it really? Like... You- you could shitpost to- to eternity and back, and I wouldn't know if you were fucking with me, because that's how little I know about Jojo. doing myself a disservice by not watching it, but what if I don't like it? Yeah, I, just, I don't have time. Instead of mutations, and they have invisible people with special abilities. Wait, is the special ability being invisible, or is that entirely separate? Abilities provided by an invisible ghost. Oh, like the dudes in Death Note? With the notebook and they the only person that can see them is the one with the notebook? Underwater house? No! Aquarium! Oh, I see. I feel like Leon S. Kennedy has only been a wisecracking nerd in like Resident Evil 4 and it breaks my heart because <laughs> Resident Evil 6 Leon is boring as shit. He has no personality. I like how you got me to complain about this for two streams in a row. 
<laughs> Give Leon back his personality. Where is it, Capcom? What did you do with it? Did you just zoop inside my freaking house? I swear to God. Okay. I started watching... Oh, wait. You mean the new, new movie? Not Infinite Darkness? No, I haven't seen that one. No, I don't think RE4 needed a remake. I will say that I would be happy to have another game with Leon and Wesker in it. Because they ain't around. <laughs> Wesker's dead, right? Yep, yep. Kind of been prevented from being around on the grounds that he is dead. That's honestly my thing. You will. It's like just say he got better. It's freaking Resident Evil. Whatever. Bring him back. Who cares? I know there was like an Easter egg in the multiplayer game where the person on the radio was like very clearly Wesker because I think it was actually voiced by his VA. But uh, I don't know if they'll ever have to do anything with that. Somehow Wesker returned. <laughs> Did they abandon Jake? I think Capcom might try and pretend that RE6 didn't happen. It always bothered me in 5, right? Like, he's super zwooshy fast and everything. And then he was like, I know, to beat Chris, I'll inject something that makes me much slower. And make it so that I just walk incredibly slowly around and have a gigantic glowing weak spot. Felony's boss, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. It'll go great. Well, I think at that point, didn't they like inject him and fuck up his original mutation for a bit? Were the injections that he required even a thing before that point, or was it just a plot device so that they didn't have to ask pull them actually being able to fight Wesker? I feel like they bigged him up to be too strong and then were like, ah, quick, we need something to fuck him up. <laughs> Leon being a wise-cracking himbo was an accident? I really hope not, because it's my favorite Leon. I would be very sad. I always thought it was really weird, but apparently, especially in RE6... No, RE5... I know, like, the excuse for people turning into spaghetti and stuff was that, like, most of them weren't compatible with Ouroboros. Like, you know when Meowth injects himself and basically becomes like a flesh fish? He's like, oh, it wasn't good enough for the for the real stuff or the good stuff or something. So I think maybe, maybe the end game of that is not to turn into a flesh fish. Yeah, Meowth, the guy that is like <laughs> incredibly generic, like, he just sounds like Meowth. I don't remember what his name is. Irving? Okay, no, he's Meowth. <laughs> yeah, Meowth injects it, he turns into a fish. And then Excella injects it and she turns into, like, wobbly spaghetti. I don't know. I like the boob physics in that scene, that's all I really remember. I think her entire character, like, was just, like... Boob physics and lusting over Wesker, and I don't remember... What was her actual motivation beside that? <laughs> 
I genuinely don't remember what her thing was apart from I want to bang Wesker. <laughs> I don't remember. It, it, it was just lust? Okay. Uh, I don't think so, Simply Seamus, because, like, she dies very quickly. And also, Wesker didn't seem all that interested. Don't we, like, not know, or, like, Jake only very briefly mentions who his mother is? I feel like Capcom need to have Chris have a kid because otherwise they're going to be stuck forever with the fan canon that Chris was unable to have children because of his like massive steroid abuse in order to find Wesker. And I'm not sure they want that. <laughs> Ah, dingus. I am genuinely surprised. I feel like sharks are such an easy, cheap way to scare players. I am amazed that they don't have them. Stop doing the smile. <laughs> <laughs> Streamer lacks critical. Wait, where'd my sword go? Oh, I don't know why that's there. I mean, I remember the author for Jaws actually spent like the rest of his. Or, like, a long time doing, like, shark conservation, right? Because he was guilty over what Jaws did. Oh, this is fricked because you get that penalty. Eh, I'll just leave it as it is then. This actually didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. The movie was bad for sharks. The book wasn't better, any better, I don't think. Am I creating SeaWorld? <laughs> With axolotls, yes. No, no, there are, there are axolotls in, in the water. The characters in the book are much less likable than they are in the movie. I don't know if you guys have ever read the book, but it's essentially like Hooper sleeps with Brody's wife and Quint, Quint is mostly the same, I think he's just a dick. 
the mayor is being threatened by, I think, the mafia, which is why he's so insistent on keeping everything open. Um, but yeah, there's like this whole... Do you remember the offhand comments in the movie about like, when will I get to be an islander? In the book, that's like this whole thing where the islanders are the locals and then... The tourists are like all these rich people from the mainland and there's like this whole wage gap thing going on. Um, and Brody's wife used to be a tourist and she came from this rich family and then she decided to settle down with Brody and she started like regretting it a little bit because she misses her rich person lifestyle. And then so when Matt Hooper shows up and he's the little brother of someone she used to date when she was part of that lifestyle, she's like, huh. And then she bangs him. And then she kind of regrets it. But he dies anyway, so whatever. But I'm pretty sure that Brody fig like finds out about it at some point. So, <laughs> yeah, Hooper dies in the book. Movie Hooper is is nice. In the book, I don't think anybody on that boat really likes each other at all. <laughs> Spoil as much for a book from the 60s. Yeah, there's actually much less of the shark in the book. There's all this like stuff going on about the the towns uh whether or not the town will survive over summer and so on. Wait, hold on. Aw, you're very welcome, Void Cogs. I hope you feel better soon. The flu is terrible, but I'm glad that I could help. I have the music from the Wesker boss fight stuck in my head. Is it better to fill in the corners or leave them empty like this? I can't decide aesthetically which one I prefer. I did right up until you mentioned Racing Idiot. Thanks for that. <laughs> Oh, I have, I have discovered a problem. <laughs> it's going out to idiot America. I cannot be underwater when I when I break these. Because it is a huge penalty. And that's going to start getting real annoying. So, asking for a friend, is there a mod to just remove the penalty for mining underwater? Because why does that exist? Does it work? Is 
it would work if uh if I could remove the rest. <laughs> you can use a shovel to do it faster, but it's not gonna be that much versus the penalty, I don't think. I could make an iron shovel, you are correct. Oh god, the water is flowing! No! <laughs> Stop. Why? Okay, it stopped. Okay, time to do the rest later. I don't know why I've been sneezing so much the last hour or so. Hey, Collector. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you for blessings, chat. Yeah, I guess I'll just make a shovel and hope that it counteracts the penalty a little bit. Uh... Unfortunately, the water goes quite deep. Oh, I have extra loss here. The water goes quite deep, so I don't know if I can actually um, get all of it. I don't know if I need more than that, so let's just stop for now. Shovel! You know what? I'm gonna take the shield off because it's annoying. I'm sure I will not get attacked. So I need to remove some a lot of the lower stuff still. I just, yeah, a lot of the lower stuff. Holy crap. Um, it's going to take so long. Why did I decide to do this again? By ladder. Uh, hey, Axos. Uh, let's put the ladder back up. Wait, where'd it go? Oh no, is the ladder one of those things that just gets destroyed? Oh, wait, no, there it is. I see it. Because you said it was a crazy idea, and I just decided to... Oh, so I did it out of spite? That sounds like me, actually, yeah. Uh, ideally, no help, yes. 
If I need help, I will say... Wait, what was the safe word? We had a safe word, what was it? Chat, what's the safe word? It was lost to time. Ah, oh, fuck. Kumquat! It was kumquat, because it's funny. Egg. <laughs> Toby and Kenobi, thank you for the 100 bits. Good night. Oh lord, this takes forever. Question. Are lanterns water safe? I want something to light up the inside of the thing so I can see it better. They are neat. Oh, hello. Oops. I mean, I very specifically asked the, asked the question. We didn't need kumquat that time, it's okay. Oh, why did I put these bricks down here? <laughs> Ten years later. look real cool, don't worry. There's some block there for some reason. actually have hunger meters in this game that I've been callously ignoring or is it kind of like whatever unless you want them to breed? Only gotta feed him to breed him. <laughs> that sounds... I don't know why but this sounds so awful. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Okay, that's the vast majority of it. So the next thing we gotta do is make a secondary wall. And then after that, we gotta drain out all the water so that we can look- Ah, oh, look at them! So we can look inside! I guess with the secondary wall, we could just make it sand. Alright, so let's test. Hold on, if I do this... Oops, that's that's that was incorrect test. Hold on. Yeah, it stays dry. So that's all we need to do. Perfect. What am I doing? I'm making a walk through aquarium.
Alternatively, I can make the outer wall out of glass again so that it stays uh, see-through. Like this. And that they can still have their beautiful ocean view. Why am I living in a temple? Because it's cool, bruh. I mean, I want it to be permanently drained, so it's fine. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, Terraria was actually like a fairly um, decent mix of building plus adventuring. Why is there a square of water there? Oh, that's irritating. <laughs> Do I like goats? Um, goats are fine. I don't, I don't go out of my way to interact with goats, but I do not dislike goats. Please let me up. Thank you. Don't you start with me, Shadow. <laughs> <sighs> I don't have any other worlds. This is my only world. <laughs> oh no, sorry, Q. Is that supposed to be deeper than it is? Like, is that sand? That, I don't think the sand's supposed to be here. Hey, look, Axel. Yeah, I'm bu building a resistance. If I break my ankles every single single morning, then eventually, like, I'll become so immune to ankle breaking <laughs> that it won't matter anymore. Is that how it works? I can't tell how many glass blocks there are because it's really hard to see. You have to mix it up. I figured out why there's water there. <laughs> figured it out. Okay. I'm gonna have to make stairs. Otherwise, everything is slowly coming together. Does that need to be another one? 
Ah, oh, yes, that's better. I thought for a second the axolotl had decided that it wanted to be the master of its own fate and turned around to eat me. <laughs> that looks better. <sighs> this is going to take a long time. Yeah, I was like, wow, this didn't take very long at all. And that was before I decided to undertake the worst part of it. <laughs> Let me do the other shallow side before I just, you know, cry. Although, actually, if I unlock the full effect sooner, maybe it will motivate me. <laughs> oh, wow, it's, it's bigger than I remember. Hmm. There we go. If I just do this part, we can see how it will look. And then fill it in with sand. Although, actually, if I fill it in with sand, I have to remove more sand. Actually, no, I don't, because... Okay. Then... I can tell you funny stories. You do love your stories, don't you, Zach? the reason why I'm doing this because I wanted a nice place for my axolotls to live but I wanted to be able to see them swimming so I decided oh hello I decided that the best thing to do would be to make an aquarium and look <gasps> once it's all lit, lit up in there it's gonna be so cool we're gonna be able to watch them swim around I think that's a really cool effect <laughs> I mean, really, I could have just launched Let's Build a Zoo and done exactly the same thing in a fraction of the time. But we've committed now. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, we'll get we'll get some nice like plants and stuff to put in there. I think it's gonna be good. What did I miss? Sorry. Uh, advantage effect visual memory. In what sense? Like recalling things that happened. Yeah, a little bit. If something's a strong enough memory, though, I can, I can, I can at least remember the scene for myself in the sense that I can kind of like describe it back to myself a little bit. Um, like something that has like a huge emotional impact for me. Like when I took Sky to the vet for the final time, 
like, I'm not sure if I can actually see it, but I can definitely remember everything that I felt and kind of, like, construct something from that, I guess. And it's... Yeah, so it's, so it's not like I'm, I'm, like, unable to remember things. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that really depressing. It was just the first memory I could think of because it's on my mind a lot. Yeah, yeah, I have that. And I have tons and tons of pictures of Sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this music kicks in. Yeah, it's like, thanks, game. Wow. <laughs> Who's Sky? He was my first ferret. I got him in 2015, and he was my only ferret for a long time. He was a very good boy. It's actually, I don't know, like, you have to go to a private breeder to get a ferret in the UK, but in that sense, it's actually much nicer because you don't have to worry about getting a ferret that's uh, been mass bred or might be sick or things like that because there's no martial uh, martial ferrets or anything. Hey, Oreo, welcome. There are lots of breeders here. Yeah, he was a very special ferret. How expensive? It ranges. So, like, for a fully standard ferret, probably, like, I don't know. 20 to 40 pounds for a long-haired Angora with a fairly good nose like Nero, about 300. Rare color like Sky and also part Angora, 80. Pikmin was 100, no 50 because his nose is wonky so <laughs> she, she, only uh, she only let me pay the deposit then when she, she realized his nose was wonky she didn't want any more money for him. Atreus was 100 and Kovu was free because Kovu was not very well. Yeah, yeah, it's long-haired ferret. Nira is a long-haired ferret. Mm -hmm. What determines a good nose? Okay, so I show. I show before we finish. So with Angoras, I can actually probably pull up a big comparison. Um, Angora ferrets tend to have noses with folds in them because of... Uh, the inbreeding that occurred, or sorry, the limited breeding pool that occurred in order to make them a thing, I think. Um, so the second trait of a full Angora ferret is the Angora nose. Hold on, let me pull up the chatting window so we can chat. The nose of an Angora can be quite different to that of a standard short hair ferret in that it can have extra skin folds near the nostril. Jubileus, thank you for the 33 months. Welcome back. Or fine hair is growing on the folds of the nostril. This has not been reported or of causing any issues with the breathing of the Angora and it's a cosmetic problems. It's a cosmetic problem. Uh, responsible breeders will try to breed out the Angora nose because it is like a... a weird cosmetic issue. I'm not actually sure why. Presumably it's because of the breeding stock when they were first created. Um, it was created in the last 25 to 30 years. Uh, some of the animals were developing longer hair on their rumps in the Scandinavian breeding facility. Yeah, so it's it's just a fault in the Angora lines. And then, so these are ferret noses. I get picture. Uh... So these are ferret noses. These are all Angora ferrets. And you can see the ones on the bottom have like little weird flaps on them or hair growing on the noses. Whereas the ones on the top are the ones that the breeder that I get my ferrets from. These are still Angoras, but she's trying to breed in good noses to the Angora line. And you can see that they're mostly normal. Like maybe like one of the nostrils is a slightly different shape or there's a tiny bit of fur. So... Yeah, she's, she's trying to, what she does is she crosses a lot of standard ferrets into the Angora lines and then crosses them back with other Angora lines to sort of like try and breed in better noses. The Toxic Avenger, thank you for the 82 months. Welcome back. So it's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like a way to just sort of uh, broaden 
the the gene pool for angoras. Nero's nose has a little bit of a fold on it. Um, I'm not really. Let me see if I can find a good picture of Nero. Um, gotta get a picture of Nero Snoot. Yeah, this one will do. So Nero's nose is not perfect. It's not even that good, to be honest. It's not terrible, at least. Um, now I gotta go find the picture. Here it is. So, this Nero nose, you can see his has the fold in it on the nostrils. Whereas if you look at uh, Atreus and Pikmin's noses, there are no folds. They have normal nostrils. Ha, ha, ha. 